Comedian Matt Reif responded to criticism that one of his jokes was sexist and disrespectful. Following the backlash, Reif took to Instagram stories where he posted, if you've ever been offended by a joke I've told, here's a link to my official apology. The link led to a medical supply store selling helmets for people with special needs. Life's tough, get a helmet, man. I'm too pregnant for this. So, uh, comedian Matt Wright facing backlash over this joke. So I saw this and I figured I'd send it into the chat. It's pretty funny, at least to me. I've only been to Baltimore one time. I ate lunch there and the hostess who like seats you at the restaurant had a black eye. A full black eye. It wasn't like, what happened? Yeah, it was pretty obvious what happened. We couldn't get over the fact that we were like, this is the face of the company? Like, this is, this is what you have greeting people? And my boy who I was with was like, yeah, I feel bad for her, man. I feel like they should put her in the kitchen or something where nobody, where nobody has to see her face, you know? And I was like, yeah, but I feel like if she could cook, she wouldn't have that black eye. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I don't think he's that funny. And the joke is fucked up, but that was a funny joke. He said, testing the water, seeing if y'all are going to be fun or not. <laughs> she, like, he's aware that his jokes can can be a little, you know what I mean? But that's comedy, bro. Yeah, like, I, 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 to me, that's the what the point of comedy is. It's like making, or not one point, the, like the point, but one of the points is like that. It's, it's making jokes out of fucked up shit. Yeah, like, yeah. I think that that's a lot of, like self-deprecating shit and all that kind of shit. Like, it's, it's what it is. Like, it's So comedy. this is what it's he's receiving backlash for, for that one joke? Well, the black eye. He's getting black there's eye. like 10 more seconds of it. Let's, I would just listen. Yeah, it's, to it. it's, it's basically listen. that. But, but I'm pretty sure that's about it. Testing the water, see if y'all are going to be fun or not. I want to see. I figure we start the show with domestic violence. The rest of the show should be... I'm, I'm oh go, I've gosh. seen I've seen comedians say way wild this shit way like on some worse. domestic violence tip where so I he's think I think it's one of those people that? where he's just like huh he's getting canceled because of that yeah I think or not canceled but like facing backlash you know nobody gets canceled but I think it's just because he's like how big like big of a of a, of a celebrity he's become over the last year or two like how popular he's become but I, I didn't heard people say yeah I'm I don't that think that was the words like, but you know what I think joke. think happens with him is that his audience is predominantly female. Like he so. garnered like a huge female audience. Like if you and if you look at his comments in any of his like Instagram profiles, mm -hmm. like if you think cat calling is bad, the stuff women would put under his stuff on Instagram <laughs> is way worse than cat calling. <laughs> but I think Damn. this is the type of stuff that probably happens because it's like since you have such a large following of women and they're not used to you coming at them in such a way to like joking around with them, he's gonna get offended and we live in a day and age that the automatic reaction is, if you offend me, you need to be canceled. That's the thing, though, because you know I mean? I've, I've watched a couple of his, his shows, and he will be coming at women way more crazier than this. Like, some, some, like, women do get triggered in his shows. They'll say something, but he's, like, so quick to come back. Come, but he's so quick to come at them, and, but in a funny way, and they just end up looking so stupid. He shuts them down so quick, but it's in a matter where it's way worse than something like this, but it's still funny. So I'm just, I'm surprised that like he's getting backlash for something so stupid, so small. So here's some of the comments that people are dropping in here. It's like a misogynist. So y'all so are so shocked that Matt Rife is a misogynist, a-hole. All I'm saying is he had he wasn't funny on Wild and Out, and he isn't funny now. I didn't know he was on Wild and Out. What? You didn't know? Nah. Yeah, he was it, on there. I, the thing I don't like about Wild and Out, it's not easily as accessible as it should be. Like, this is this has nothing to do with this, but just as a sidebar, like, yo, Wild and Out, y'all gotta put that shit more on, like, YouTube, Netflix, something. Like, make that shit more accessible, and a lot more people will watch that shit, because that show is super fire. But, back to... But that's the reason why they don't want to put it on Netflix. Because it's, like, one of the only things they have left on MTV. <laughs> like right now, MTV. I know we're taking a little bit of a detour. Is the the stuff from the guy that's a skateboard, the ridiculousness, ridiculousness. Yeah. and Wild and Out is like the only two shows that they be running like crazy, and they get like like that's how it became a one point three billion dollar business for Nick Cannon. Like Wild and Out became a billion dollar business. Yeah, they hold it on to those yeah. two. That's but, like putting shit behind a paywall. Like it's like it's only but so like you can't grow if you put your shit behind a paywall. That well, not like that. Literally is, but it literally is behind a paywall. Like you, I think you can only grow but so much. Like what helps them is that they're on TV, so it's running all day. But nobody watches 
TV like that anymore. Like, so but you have Instagram and they're like social media yeah, clips, clips on YouTube. Clips yeah, and but that's not. It, but that's what I'm saying. I'm talking long form. They're talking a different TV. model. They're they they have a whole different like their model is yeah. still a TV model, but. Here, here's more comments of Matt Rife. I'd rather hear nails on a chalkboard than hear Matt Rife trying to appeal to men. See what I mean? It's women saying, oh, this is not a joke for us, so oh we're not going to like it. Gosh, like, I, don't, I don't think stop. that's appealing to, to men. I think that that's a, like, a joke is a joke is a joke. That's what I, I, I take it as a joke. And I'm, I'm sure there's plenty of women comedian that shit on men and shit I find it men, hilarious. And it's hilarious. Hell like, yeah, bro. But nobody's canceling them. But then again, you know, we're... We've... I don't really see men pushing to cancel nobody. Exactly. I've, I've, I'm not saying that, that it doesn't happen, but I'm just saying like I don't really see like we, we, name a guy that, that was really like like getting ca- like getting canceled for some shit. What you mean? That was getting canceled for by some... men for something. Sorry, I should have added that in when I said that fully. Cause like when Kevin Hart was getting canceled, Kanye that was by women and shit. What did you say? Kanye West. Well, yeah. <laughs> But that, that was some religious stuff. But yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. I, but I, that's I, not I, just no, about no, men, right. though. It's about, that's everybody, though. It wasn't just about men. Man, it was predominantly men. But no, but really? it, it was a it was a religion. You're right. You are right. But it was a religion thing. Like I'm talking more like this shit. But you are right. But what, that's what I'm saying. But it's yeah. uh, the only thing I'm gonna say about that is that everybody that wanted to cancel Kanye right now wants to cancel the people that were trying to cancel him now. <laughs> so I'm just saying. Uh, this is terrible. <laughs> though, like, oh shit! You, I ain't gonna lie. It took me a second to just like. Process that tra- that whole thought. Um, what do you say? I feel like most black people. I, I don't know why. Clap Matt Rife and his questionable race jokes a half minute ago, and people were like, "Well, that's comedy," and stop being so sensitive. And now, now did did he say it was I mean, a black person? There the wasn't drug? anything that had to tie into he, race, bro. Like, he, what are they talking I feel like about? Most black people clocked. Matt Rife and his questionable race jokes a hot minute ago. So yeah, so this is a this would be a past tense thing, and people were like, "Well, that's comedy. It's not being sensitive." And now, I mean, I don't, I don't know, like that was just a reach, honestly, in in that statement. But I, I mean, I've never, heard, I'm not gonna say that he hasn't said nothing crazy about black, about black people, but I just never seen it. No, what I'm saying is like, really if, it, I'm saying if this, you if you read race into that joke, she's reaching. Then she's that's reaching. something on you. I don't know if it's a he or a she or whatever. Oh, it's, it, it looks it's like a girl from right here. But I'm saying is it's a it's a reach. You like, are the one imposing that into the joke. Yeah, I don't right, think he, he mentioned. No, but I, I don't think that, that that's what she meant though. Yeah. Say my wife is a woman hater anyway. See what I'm saying about that? Is, she sound like a hater. Definitely, definitely so. Like that is kind of funny, funny though. That is funny though. You see what I'm saying? Bro? Like it's all like it's all a joke, bro. The internet isn't a real place. It's all jokes, man. It's all like a woman hater though, just because he made such a joke. Like he's not even he's not condoning domestic violence. It's just a freaking joke. People like why. This level of sensitivity is crazy to me, man. And then the the way that they want to reach, like that last comment. I mean, I, I, we don't really know if she's trying to reach for that, but come on, man. Why are we like this? <laughs> okay. So I would love for someone to correct me, but I don't watch Matt Rife. I've never seen any of his stand up. I don't really watch too much anymore. Is he like this the, the entire time. set? He feels like a mini Dane Cook to me. I'm not familiar with like I, they I know the name. old school, but yeah, like he was one of the first uh, comedians that blew up on MySpace. He was like the first one that took advantage of social media to promote comedy. Yeah, I heard somebody telling yeah. that story recently. But he's like old school. The only thing I'm gonna say is every single one of these comments are coming from women. That's all I'm saying. And and like it's one of these things of like, is the internet? Just let it be. If if you don't like them, you don't have to support them. Don't watch his stuff, and then that's it. You're good. You know what I mean? Like that's a, that's the best thing I can say, but it's just no reason for him for for them to be calling him a misogynist or an advocate for domestic violence. Like they're so quick to jump. No, so I've noticed that it's very easy that when you don't have an argument that you can articulate against somebody's thoughts or art or form of expression, the easiest thing to do is to just call them names, of because course. that these names already have a predetermined definition that society thinks about when you say it. So it's like, oh, I don't have the brains to really make an argument against what you're saying, so I'm just going to call you a name. Hey, but it, it's shit like this that messes up comedy. Comedy is like the one of the very last things that oh. we have that we have that people can really express themselves freely. And nowadays, you can't even do that much anymore because of shit like this. It's terrible. 
I, I agree with you, but I, I don't think uh, right now we're. I think comedies is at such a strong point right now. I don't like not that it'll like never be taken away from them or whatever because there was a time where it was it died down a little bit. But they snapping right now. I ain't gonna lie. They That's what I'm saying. This but they they tried wild. to because look at Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle they were trying to take his his special out of uh, out of Netflix because you know the LGBTQ. But I think that is like he's a strong. perfect example of well, somebody I think who it was not like, his show. Not that, they, not that they were trying to cancel his Netflix. No, no, they, no, asked no, for they him. were trying to take him they off. Wanted, they wanted Netflix to take the special off. Oh, yeah. you talking about a couple years ago. Yeah. yeah but when you him, dog, when you, when you bring value to value and value is value or some shit like that. I forgot how the saying goes, but he, he is, like, it's too good. Like, people are still going to show up to his shows. People, I'm gonna, I've watched every single Netflix Dave Chappelle special that every single one that he's put, I've watched all of them. Like, I think he's funny as fuck. I think he's, he's, a, he's a top tier comedian all time. Like, but I'm gonna he, support him regardless. But in that special, he clarified multiple times. It's about my friend. It's about my friend. He doesn't hate such and such. I don't do this. I don't do that. Like he was giving so much reassurance, which I don't really feel like you you should. <laughs> You're being. I don't. Yourself. I think but right because now things are so sensitive. We are being not even too sensitive. We're being too soft. That's what it is. Like we soft, gotten to the point, whatever you want to call that it, that we are so soft that we are putting ourselves inside of a joke and taking offense instead of just laughing at the joke. Exactly. Like even if it's a joke about yourself, you should be able to just hey laugh about it. You know, it's, it's a joke and it's a comedy special. It's not like you saying this guy went in a podium pretending to be the president and it's giving you something that's a legitimate speech and I'm gonna take him at his word for every second. Now and you're what? gonna tell me that you really think he went to a place and saw a woman with a black eye? He, I mean, he probably the did. The likelihood of that happening and he acting the way he did is very slim. Might right. have, he might have embellished that story to right. make it into a joke. Yeah. But people like, they're, they're like, s- they believe they're so quick to to feed into it in such a bad way. But not only, aside from that, my thing is, what better way to bring light to, I guess, a negative situation than to you know joke about it? You know what I'm saying? Turn it around. Yeah. But we want to be so busy and being soft, like but yeah. you said, being sensitive. Like To be honest, or he could have been wrong in that joke. That's all I'm going to say. I see women with black eyes often in jiu-jitsu. Because <laughs> they, uh, they, they, they train martial arts. So every now and then, they come in with a shiner, and it's not like they're getting abused at home because they can probably abuse their husbands if they wanted to. Damn. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> So sometimes he might have been in the wrong there. He, she could have been an MMA fighter and he didn't know it. That's the world we live in. Remember, equality. I think, I think it's something you said. In the, I think it was you that said this in, in the past, like one of the past pods, when you were talking about the, the soft life and, and how it's like affecting people. And I think that's it. And I ain't going to lie. Every time I see somebody talking about, oh, I want a soft life, I want a soft life, I'm like, I want to stay far the fuck away from you. Like whoever, well, I don't, I don't know that soft, I, that soft life shit is scary because like I'm interpreting it as these kind of motherfuckers that don't want to do shit, just are entitled, want everything handed handed to them. They don't want to put no work in. They just want to, oh, they don't want to go through no mean. hardships in life. They're like, bro, life is hard. And then, and then when the shit like this, like it's just a joke. Just keep it pushing. This is not some shit for you to sit on the internet all mad about and all this other shit. Like, like this is not real life shit. This isn't important. And I'm pretty sure a lot of them have never even been domestically abused. Hopefully well, not. Nah, Hopefully yeah, not. Nah, Hopefully I, not. I, like, I feel, like no, but no, because a lot of the times, because that's that's another thing that's taken into comedy. They say, like, for example, Matt Rife, uh, in one of his specials, he was talking about. Uh, I think it was, I think it was his little sister. And they got, you know, his little sister, God rest her soul, she's dead now. Um, she she had a disability. I forgot what it was exactly. And he was joking about that. It, it, it sounds fucked up, but he was joking. And it was funny. But people were getting offended. But mind you, that's his sister. Like, what? why are you getting offended for his family member? It's not even yours. You're not even attached to that. But yet you, do you have a, you know what I'm saying? A lot of that. I think in that special too, he was like, um, "Do you have a sister that's like no? Okay, then shut up. Like some kind of, th- you know what I mean? Like this is my sister. Yeah. I can joke about it. That's where I'm coming from. I'm not trying to discredit anybody who, who's been to, you know, who has it's experienced domestic, domestic violence and stuff like that. Because I don't condone it. I'm one that growing up, not to get all sappy or whatnot, but growing up, I've experienced, like I've witnessed it happening. So I'm not insensitive to it. But, and that's with my own mom. But Again, 
it's not for for you to put yourself in a place, especially when you, if if you've never experienced it, like, come on. Let's let's get into the next joint. Let's get into the What's next. Na- joint. Oh, so I found. Uh, well, I, you know what? Like, just to wrap up this man right shit though, man. Shout out the comedy. For real. Tap in. At least Sadiq just put out a new a new special. I'm gonna watch that joint when I get home. I saw it. I oh, saw you saw it? it? Yo, yeah, he's no, he's a cold motherfucker, man. He's funny. The his, Do- Domino Effect one and two, I believe, are already out on his YouTube channel. Fire, fire, super fire. And he just dropped the other special. And he about to finish the Domino Effect series. I think he said next year or some shit like that. I seen him post. I can't wait. The loss though, that one was woo, man. You gotta see that one. His storytelling that's, skills is crazy. I mean, that's how he's the loss, you talking about? The loss, yeah. Oh, they came out like, oh, I know what you're talking about. Talking yeah, about. Yeah, 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 that drum, man. I don't want to spoil it, but I, 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 he's he's a good storyteller because that's a that's the kind of person that that make you laugh, cry, you feel all kind of emotions all in one. Mm-hmm. In one but special, but the way he, the way he could bring it back though, he yeah, funny motherfucker. Bro, smoking. Watch that later.